heightened concerns tonight about the safety of a popular surgery to correct your vision. Well, that's right. 12 million Americans have undergone LASIK surgery, but dozens of reports of problems with the procedure have caught the attention of the FDA. CBS 4 Dr. Sean Kniff reports tonight the federal agency is stepping in. Okay, back to the way. The government wants to take another look at LASIK surgery. The reason? Patients like these. All three say the procedure actually damaged their vision. Now everything is slightly doubled to the right. I see three moons at night. I mean, if I look out there in, in my worst eye, I mean, it's totally hazed over. I certainly regret having it. I think it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. LASIK uses a laser to reshape the cornea and has given millions of patients 20-20 vision. I don't have to worry about having uncomfortable contacts in my eyes all the time. In the past few years, the FDA has received 140 reports of problems. On Friday, the agency is holding a public meeting to hear complaints. Nine years of hell is a better way to describe it. The Society of Eye Surgeons who perform LASIK say they have a 95% satisfaction rate. The group is expected to tell the FDA that side effects are rare and usually temporary. Dr. Robert Seikert from the Langone Medical Center says not everyone is a candidate for LASIK, especially if a patient's pupil is too large or the cornea is too thin. So I turn away approximately 20% of patients who are interested in having LASIK. But Michael Patterson said he was considered a good candidate by his doctor. The, the only way to protect yourself from LASIK is to not have it. Friday's FDA hearing is part of a study on the safety and satisfaction of LASIK. It's not yet known when results will be available. Available. Now, an estimated 6 million people in the U.S. have had LASIK surgery since it was approved just about 10 years ago. And while we don't have any long-term data, a new review of more than 2,000 patients and 19 studies finds only 5% of people were dissatisfied with their vision after the procedure. Dr. Sean Kniff, CBS 4 News.